how to tackle a winter tree so I'm coming in with some raw sienna you can use raw sienna or you can use yellow ochre it's a creamy mix it's a little bit of water in there I'm just going to bring that in rinse my brush out I'm using a round number six I'm going to come into some sepia again a fairly creamy mix I'm going to run it down one side starting to get that chewy trunk rinse that brush off I'm going to come down to a this is a rigger it's a number two rigger gives you a nice long thin stroke still got a little bit of light this side I'm going to start to pull out the colour so we start to get these winter tree branches so this is just with a wet brush I'm just pulling out I'm using the wet colour I'm staggering where I'm coming out from that tree trunk you don't want them in the same place you want them to go slightly different angles slightly different thicknesses can do one bit further down here and just carry on pulling out so I'm just pulling out this color with a wet brush and some nice wispy bits at the bottom I'm starting to get a really nice shape there and silhouette to the tree. Now if I twizzle upside down it's much easier to paint to a point if you're upside down. What we're going to do is start to get a little bit finer. So I've got a little bit of sepia on the brush. Still using the same brush and start to break out from these main branches painting downwards get a nice stroke they want to get finer as they come out they want to be mainly growing upwards towards the light but you can do an odd one that isn't I rest on my little finger Rest on my little finger and then pull the brush gently out. You can vary the pressure with the brush. The good thing about a rigger is you don't have to keep dipping it back in the paint. With a smaller, thinner brush, you have to keep dipping it back in the paint all the time. And then you're just working for these little flicks at the top. So you get it finer and finer. And these lovely little flicks of those winter branches overlap some twizzle around a little bit so you still have that nice downward stroke so you're getting a really nice point get a much nicer stroke painting down and getting that really nice point and painting upwards let's keep going and going it's got a really really nice effective winter tree there if you want some fine wispy bits on the tree I'm going to pick up my round number six again and I'm going to load it with paint so this is loaded with paint you can I'll just bring this in here dab off a little bit if you're a bit nervous you're going to hold it flat you're going to hold your brush like this and hold it flat then you're going to catch the surface of the paper so with a downward stroke we're going to get those really nice fine 
twiggy bits at the ends of the branches. So that scraping is my nails on the paper. That's how close I am. I'm keeping the side of the brush scraping on the paper. The more that you've got the paint loaded, the easier this will be. And it's more of a downward scraping action than a dabbing. You're not dabbing. You can achieve the same effect dabbing, but you're better to sort of slightly scrape. You'll get that really nice, delicate effect. Do you want to just add a bit of shadow at the bottom? Just add a little bit like that. And you can, with a damp brush, clean and damp, lift out a little bit of the light. So I have lost a little bit, it's run quite a lot over, so I can just lift out, just with a damp brush, dabbing it off. It's not wet, just damp a little bit of that light. 